This Cedar Rapids Kennedy looking to not repeat history against Dallas center Grimes. Cougars only lost last season came in this quarterfinal round. After trailing by one after the first quarter, Cougars come out firing from behind the key. Cyrus Courtney is good for three of his 15 points. That sparked a three-point frenzy. From the corner, Trey McCowan keeps the streak alive. Kennedy went on a 15-0 run, which included this sky-high tray from Joseph Bean, who led the Cougars with 18 points. Kennedy led by 10 at the break and put this one away in the second half. Micah Schlake was one of three Cougars to finish in double figures with 14 as Kennedy advances to the semifinals, winning 66-45. Last year, I feel like we didn't have this opportunity just to get our feet wet, like you said, and now we're able to get all the nerves out and just come back and play tomorrow and hopefully do the same thing. This one just feels better because last year, you know, we got upset, so we have to show the state that we're official. Kennedy would play the winner of this quarterfinal between Dubuque Senior and Ankeny. Rams pushing the pace just before the buzzer. Nick Kennedy lays in two to make it a one-point game. Jalen Johnson with the nice feet inside allows Jacob Williams to drop in two of his team leading 14 points. He also added 11 rebounds. Ankeny making things difficult down low, but Tevin Schultz goes to work inside. This was a nine-point game at half. Senior would make it as close as six points points as Cooper Porter lets some triples like this fly, but Ankeny holds on to win 60 to 47. One thing, if you look back on every game, you're going to see a lot of different guys on the score sheet, and out of 25 games, we won 22. It was a great season to be proud of. Reporting in Des Moines, I'm Chelsea Brown for KCRG TV9 Sports. Thanks, Chelsea. Third-seeded Cedar Falls face six-seeded Bettendorf in another 4A quarterfinal this afternoon. After missing out on state last year, the Tigers back for their sixth trip in the last seven years. 6'8 senior Cade Corbett slices through the lane and off the window. Second quarter, Leighton Wolf snags the offensive rebound, and Aiden Heth fires away for three. But Bettendorf goes into the locker room with the lead third quarter. Wolf plays quarterback and finds William Gertis, who somehow converts this one for the and one. But Bettendorf was too much. They hold on to beat Cedar Falls 65-56 to advance to play Valley. We'll have the 